ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದ ನಿಂದಸೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರ್ವಶು ಕಿಂಧುಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವಿತುಸಿ ದೇವ್ಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಚ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂಗ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರು ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನುತ ಬಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಂಪಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ತಾರಾಧಿಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂಕೋಷ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಹುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬದಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೌ ಕಮಲಾಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ವೈಶ್ಯಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭೂತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿನೇತ್ರೂಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣು ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜಸ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
आद्यंत वैशम लोक कर्म विनिर्मित दुक्षोदर का स्तमो निष्ठा क्षुद्र मंदा सुचर्पित आद्यंत वैशम लोक कर्म विनिर्मित दुक्षोदर का स्तमो निष्ठा क्षुद्र मंदा सुचर्पित गौरियोगोष्ठीपति गौरियोगोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा टोल्ड जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट ऑल द जीवाज वट दे हैव इंटरेस्ट वट इज रिवर्स टू देयर इंटरेस्ट वट एवर हैपन्स टू देयर इंटरेस्ट वेन समथिंग हैपन्स रिवर्स इन इन टर्न टू देयर इंटरेस्ट दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट बेनिफिट फॉर देम to to convert their interest uh, material interest that uh, is the topmost uh, uh, seva that is the topmost kripa one can uh, do on to a jiva that is the actual uh, uh, interest of the jiva so all those uh, merciful uh, guru vishnu they can only do that nobody apart from guru vishnu can uh, uh can uh, turn their interest material interest into transcendental interest and they can just uh, turn their way towards uh, bhagwan just to uh, get them out of this mahamaya of the jail of mahamaya to get out uh, to get it out from uh, this uh, jail of mahamaya uh, and uh, to take the bonded soul uh, to give him that uh, topmost uh, nitya seva of uh, radha govind that is the topmost uh, benefit and the topmost thing that only guru vaishnav can do that uh, prabhupad used to speak that uh, crores of hospitals colleges and universities whatever you are opening uh, it is not equivalent to uh, it is not equivalent that is not uh, uh, not that big seva as uh, if you can uh, Uh, deliver one bonded soul out of the maya and you can give him that uh, nitya seva permanent uh, transcendental seva uh, you can uh, just uh, give him that so propad always used to speak this point that every person he is having that external darshan bahir darshan means external darshan that our heart our material mind our our material mind is like a chariot and we are just uh, traveling in that chariot and all the bonded souls are just uh, uh, traveling in this uh, uh, body made of five elements pa- panchal means that uh, punjab but panchal here means uh, the body body means that all it is made of which is made of five elements that we are just getting the enjoyment in these five elements that all the world is just uh, enjoying these uh, five elements by touch uh, by touch uh, sparsh means to touch to smell to see all five these these five elements we are busy in enjoyment so this material mind is just uh, like a chariot all the bonded souls are just enjoying these uh, enjoyment in five elements they are just taking Uh, they are always just taking enjoyment in touch see hear and all but the internal vishay the internal uh, uh, vishay is that bhagavad bhajan or atma chintan that they are not at all interested they are least interested about that they always uh, just uh, want the enjoyment of uh, of five elements that gita have all in gita shri krishna already to, uh, telling to urdhav that those persons uh, all the material people are just uh, always busy ye jagat ka aadmi all the all the bonded soul all the material people are just uh, busy in uh, that uh, material things in that case in those conditions uh, sadhu guru vishnu are always very careful on the on those things uh, where uh, and do and in those things in which materialist persons are uh, very careful 
and uh, in that case all the sadhus are uh, always in anand and they are just uh, uh, getting their life going in in, in that like bha- doing bhajan this is vishay actually Prabhupada, uh, someone has to, someone uh, uh, asked question to Prabhupada, lot of questions were uh, told to Prabhupada. Prabhupada told that uh, internal darshan is very much important. To give, give lecture in front of uh, all the people is very easy and cheap. It's very easy and cheap to give a uh, lecture. But to get Pratishtit in this Tattva Siddhanta internally is very very difficult. So all those sadhus and pure guru Vaishnava which are they all uh, those who are nitya siddh they all know about this but those who are sadhan siddh they also know about that how difficult it is to get uh, established in that tattva siddhanta all the enjoyment of this material world uh, it's not there you can't speak about that there is lot of enjoyment is in material world you can't even think of that but uh, the result of this enjoyment the final outcome of this material enjoyment is very dangerous. There, yeah, there is a enjoyment in material jagat. There is not a question about that. If there is no enjoyment in material world, then uh, so much jivas are just going and uh, living their life because uh, to get anand. But they don't know the actual definition of anand. What is the actual definition of anand? They actually don't know about this. Prabhupada always used to speak this point. That uh, those uh, Sadhu Guru Vaishnav, those they are uh, those who are taking material enjoyment, those bonded souls. But uh, those uh, Sadhu Guru Vaishnav, they are always, uh, every time they are very careful in this uh, vishay. Why? Because they are Parinam Darshi. They know what will be the future consequences. Prabhupada always used to speak those who want to do Hari Bhajan, those who want to do Hari Bhajan. They are always careful about this point that they are Parinam Darshi. They know the future consequences. They know that today what they are enjoying, whatever they are enjoying, La, Puja, Pratishtha, Kamini, Kanchan, they are enjoying. If there is no enjoyment, you can't speak. There is enjoyment. But whatever Kamini, Kanchan, Pratishtha, you are getting enjoyment in that. What is the actual final outcome of that? Uh, Anand Ravan has a, haven't think of this that whatever Kanchan Kamini Kanchan I am running uh, in behind that what will be the final consequence so but the sadhu is uh, Parinam Darshi sadhu means what is what do you mean by sadhu sadhu actually the word means that uh, actually defines sad dharma sad he is actually following the sad dharma according to the strict rules and regulations that is actually called sadhu to take a vesh of sadhu externally is not a sadhu in Upadesh Amrit Rup Goswami Pad is just uh, just telling us about this point that what actually sadhu means Antar Darshi internal Darshan uh, sadhu always they have always a realization about that internal tattvas and uh, those all materialists who are just uh, they are just get attract, attract, externally attracted by that uh, temporary Ananda. Those who are just uh, uh, in the chariot uh, in this of this material. So they have their two eyes externally they can see. But they also need that third eye which is the Antar Drishti, internal Darshan. They are just uh, uh, taking bhog of all the enjoyment what they are getting externally. They are just taking the uh, enjoyment in shape and design. It to in order we have to get rid of all, all of this because Mahaprabhu always told in Shri Chaitanya Chitamrit as well. Mahaprabhu has told us this point that Mahaprabhu has given us this instruction. It's very important. Like uh, snakes, we we are just uh, seeing the shape and design of a snake. We are we feel very fearful. Similarly, like uh, to uh, f- to see the shape and design of Kamini, we are also be uh, also feeling fearful. Mahaprabhu is giving this instruction very important. Vishay 
the all those materialistic persons to just see the material person to having darshan of that our just our heart just got uh, uh, feeble it becomes weak mahaprabhu always already giving this by just seeing uh, the external uh, darshan of the materialistic and uh, doing us uh, stri darshan it is uh, strictly prohibited to do that to do women association like uh, the king uh, rab king pratap rudra who is such a great vaishnav he is not a normal person he is a very great vaishnav he is he has just got the kripa of jagannath but still mahaprabhu see the instructions of mahaprabhu what he is telling us that uh, uh, mahaprabhu told that he will not meet the king <coughs> he what the what the proposal uh, uh, king has given to him of uh, meeting the king mahaprabhu told that i can't meet the king uh, and uh, rai ramanand who is such a uh, uh, internal uh, parshad of gorang mahaprabhu he they are also actually uh, uh, all they are uh, actually uh, uh, asking mahaprabhu to do kripa on pratap rudra advait acharya everyone the uh, internal parshad of gorang mahaprabhu but still mahaprabhu uh, speaking that no i will not come in front of that king mahaprabhu told that i know that uh, you have a confidence on me you will not uh, uh, you will not uh, give me the instruction to do the wrong thing but still you uh, think one point that oh rai you you have this one point that raja pratap rudra is right but still but he is still king this king this has some contamination this name king you has some contamination material contamination so if you tell that i am i must am in the vesh of sanyasi and i'll go to meet him then the whole world will just laugh at me whereas it is uh, strictly prohibited in the shastras that about this point that uh, to uh, take materialistic uh, materialist uh, persons darshan and to take stri darshan is strictly pro- uh, prohibited so to take shape and design of this in this material world is very very dangerous and fearful i have already discussed this point also previously that those who have uh, don't have uh, uh, who can't take those who in their life uh, haven't uh, got uh, secured uh, shape and design uh, darshan they are ha- just having uh, uh, the external shape and design darshan then to uh, for them it is prohibited to go for preaching it is strictly prohibited for them to go to preaching if they have shape and design uh, darshan because when they will go outside they will just see the shape and design and they will get attracted to that shape and design and uh, that's why they and uh, what will happen uh, their whole bhajan will get destroyed it will go into water whole bhajan that's why mahaprabhu told this point mahaprabhu told this point very important that like 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 one uh, uh, then one model like uh, models are made of uh, previously fiber previously the models were made of uh, clay and something so mahaprabhu told that that this model if it is made on wooden wooden the wooden model like a uh, uh, wooden woman or a male uh, if is made of a wooden uh, structure then they can just attract the heart of even uh, siddh muni rishis as well the only the wooden uh, model of a woman or a wo- wo- woman and the who's that person who is not getting any reaction uh, while seeing while seeing uh, any woman and he is taking kamini or women darshan and he is becoming very stable in hari bhajan it is no impossible to stay uh, by not having reaction so that's why it is written that don't you don't you have to strictly prohibit prohibit the shape and design uh, darshan external darshan of a woman and you have to get that internal darshan atma darshan bhagavat darshan in atma darshan you have to get inside your heart 
especially it is very very useful this atma darshan internal darshan is very very important and very useful why because when you don't have internal darshan or atma darshan then then external darshan then you will just be seeing a shape and design darshan you will definitely we get attracted to that of this there is no doubt about that you have to activate that internal darshan inside your heart when it is not get uh, prakashit activated inside your heart otherwise uh, shape and design external darshan will definitely be there and uh, external darshan means to be uh, is maya darshan actually that all this uh, whatever we are seeing this material world it is all uh, karma vinirmit all this material world they are just busy in material karma doing material karma they are they, they are just they are just they just want to get us into the distress of this uh, ocean of material world they are it is all uh, temporary not permanent that all this world they are all having karma vinirmit all people are karma vinirmit and this is all anitya all temporary and in the last and in the last they are just going they are just going to uh, drown us in the ocean of misery and uh, and they are very cheap very it is a very cheap and a very cheap happiness and it is all material and full of distress and unhappiness there is no very cheap happiness it is so to get the internal what is what is the internal vishay so the atma chintan vishay if it is not getting activated if it is in distressful condition then uh, definitely we cannot we cannot get into the pathway of actual bhajan if we will not be uh, giving uh, all the vishay all the material materialistic desires Uh, in the pathway in the pathway of uh, uh, bhajan then definitely slowly slowly our external uh, we will not be getting attracted externally so all the prabhupad always used to speak uh, uh, he is actually speaking to one person he has just uh, he after 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 sometimes he was, he became a bhakt he used to take a lot of tobacco and uh, he and he used to take a very uh, 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 expensive tobacco and prabhupa told that uh, prabhupa told that okay i will with my hands i will give you tobacco but you have to uh, just uh, the tobacco is uh, externally you are attracted to tobacco but you have to just uh, uh, surrender this tobacco all to onto the lotus feet of shri krishna so then you see that uh, you have to go there and surrender every tobacco onto the lotus feet of krishna and i will uh, give all the arrangements regarding the tobacco and and you have to just go to the ganga and you have to just uh, give it onto the lotus feet of krishna or into the ganga then you see whether you will uh, 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 not get attracted to tobacco or you will get attracted so there is no uh, point where there is no bhagwan in every uh, chit or every in every heart uh, bhagwan is there inside their heart bhagwan is also there inside our heart every time and uh, when we are getting a uh, rapid improvement in atma chintan then like uh, the persons external persons are loving us in the same way in bhagavad gita mahapurad it is written that when when everyone when you are loving everyone uh, in relationship with bhagwat sambandh you are loving everyone then 
यू डोंट हैव एनी दोष और फॉल्ट इन योर दर्शन एंड यू आर नॉट गेटिंग दैट लघु दर्शन यू आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग दैट भगवत दर्शन देन every person uh, to get uh, uh, out of this maya it is not possible because every person will not follow this process when when they will having when they will be having a positive mood or when they will become a sevan mukhi they, they will get they, when it will uh, when they will not get a positive mood inside their heart and until and unless uh, they will not get uh, out of this maya when they don't have this uh, uh, when they don't have the desire to serve bhagwan then our bonded condition will not go away and uh, and other uh, and external uh, when we have bhog drishti when we are just uh, thinking of uh, different kind of enjoyments we are just getting attracted to it and we are just forced to get attracted and it is just uh, pushing us into the ocean of maya just uh, only karuna mai bhagwan can just save us and he is always uh, making different different kind of arrangements to protect us so that all those pure guru vaishnav he is sending on this material world like ganga tulsi naam dham bhakt and bhagavat shastra ved upanishad everything they are just coming by an excuse here on this material world and they just giving protection uh, to that bonded soul all this uh, arrangement is given by bhagwan so that a bonded soul can get out of this material ocean of maya but always a merciful bhagwan he always wanted to get us away from this maya and he has just arranged he is always ready to protect us but but uh, to have uh, complete not to get complete confidence on to surrender on to the lotus feet of krishna we will not uh, get out of maya we have to get uh, 100% uh, sharanagat on to lotus feet of krishna otherwise we will not uh, get protection from this material maya it is not possible unless and until we are getting the full grip of krishna bhagwan shri krishna uh always uh, in the form of guru he is coming in front of all those bonded souls and he is just uh, protecting them and uh, he is just uh, a vigraha of uh, merciful a merciful vigraha in front of us and coming so that our bonding condition can go away and uh, all those pure guru vaishnav has just descended on this material world and uh, all the so that all the bonded soul can get delivered and they can go on to the lotus feet of krishna that's why pure guru vishnu has come on descended on this material world of definitely all this pure guru vishnu by the guidance of bhagwan they have just descended on this material world and they are just going here and there in this material world so that they can deliver all those bonded soul and bhagwan shri krishna they are just just to protect all those bonded soul they have uh, krishna is coming in the form of gurudev so that uh, because kripa is a merciful incarnation uh, of vigraha and uh, gurudev in the form of krishna in the form of gurudev is always protecting all the bonded souls so all those uh, uh, all those lucky uh, all those lucky bonded souls uh, who are actually getting the kripa of pure guru vishnu uh, they are actually getting actually param shanti they are getting absolute happiness and uh, getting out of distress and for other people it is not possible to get at all and uh, in bhagwan in between bhagwan and bhag the relationship uh, bet- of prema what is there between a bhakt and bhagwan that i can just describe it from bhagwat sandarbh i have already described it from bhagwat sandarbh previously in the previous week only that uh, in this world there is lot of uh, fame there is lot of pratishtha that bhag- we know that bhagwan is always bhakt vatsal and uh, uh there is a, a nice uh, uh, there is a night nice line about it that uh, uh bhagwan is always of bhakt that bhagwan is always of a bhakt only but uh, there is not uh, this line is not uh, famous that the bhagwan is of bhakt 
बट भगवान इज ऑल्सो ऑफ अभक्त एज वेल दोज हुआ नॉट डिवोटिज भगवान इज ऑफ डिवोटिज बट एज वेल एज बट दे डोंट नो दैट भगवान इज ऑल्सो फॉर नॉन डिवोटिज एज वेल देर ऑलवेज भगवान इज ऑल्सो फॉर नॉन डिवोटिज बट देर इज वन डिफरेंस दैट दैट ऑल दोज नॉन डिवोटिज वॉट काइंड ऑफ मर्सी एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रेमा भगवान इज जस्ट गिविंग दैम एक्सटर्नली दे कांट दे कांट गेट दैट दे कैन नॉट रियलाइज और फील दैट वॉट हाउ मच भगवान इज लविंग दैम बिकॉज ऑफ देयर एक्सटर्नल दर्शन एंड इन द हार्ट ऑफ द भक्त दे हैव दैट इंटरनल दर्शन ऑलवेज द इंटरनल फीलिंग दैट भगवान इज ऑलवेज देयर लाइक अ मदर वेन when he he she has uh, two kids and uh, out of that one is uh, very lazy and other is uh, uh, other other one is good healthy uh, one is actually sick and other one and one is uh, sick and the pers- and the and the child who is uh, sick sick he is also that child is also of that mother only and the person who is a healthy child is healthy that is also of that mother but the mother has also always have a tension on that child who is sick why because the child is sick that's why so in his sick condition always she has love for her healthy child also but still she has very careful attention on that uh, um, uh, sick child also because she is always thinking of that uh, what uh, the different kind of medicines what he has to follow what he has to be given and uh, whatever sadhu guru vishnum dham naam parikar upadesh amrit whatever the sadhu guru vishnum has given us all they have told us but uh, when we have that uh, Uh, very good luck then uh, definitely that sickness will go from his heart so uh, this line that bhakti is of bhagwan but bhagwan is also for abhakt for non devotees as well because uh, whether he is in the uh, he is a non devotee it is just compared with the uh, sick child like the mother ag- always have some anxiety regarding uh, that uh, uh, child who is sick when that uh, child is sick she is very much feeling anxiety when he will become uh, good healthy and when he will not be like ma ma uh, to her uh, up till then that anxiety will not go from her heart so those who are actually sick that is those who are, don't believe in supreme lord those who are non devotees actually for them uh, bhagwan always have prema for them bhagwan is always uh, uh, thinking of them and he always wanted to take them into his lap but uh, but uh, for very rare luck if someone has they can uh, all some of them can think inside their heart that bhagwan loves us and others don't want the love of bhagwan so this is the condition previously uh, we have discussed this in there uh, that there is bhagwan in bhagwan there is there is one ascharya shakti ladinna evo kapi sarvanandati shaini prithir nityam bhakt bindesh nikhip mana bhagavat pritakshaya vartate bhagavat priti bol that bhagavat priti uh, the word is there actually uh, which is uh, the uh, which uh, which describes the relationship of a uh, bhakt and bhagwan and uh, all those non devotees who are abhakt they can't catch that bhagavat priti like you have seen hari loot hari loot you haven't seen hari loot like in the at the time of rath yatra uh, jagannath all those pandas actually uh, at the top of the jagannath temple they are actually just uh, sending all the fruits and flowers and all those uh, uh, nice nice sweets they are just throwing it forcefully and those who are lucky they can just catch that and those who are not lucky they can't uh, uh, catch that so when uh, when in puri when all those pandas of the jagannath they are just uh, throwing all the sweets and everything uh, uh, from the rath then you this is called hari loot those who can take that catch that they can take so that's why bhagwan actually is from uh, in nitya kal like from, uh, from the time infallible he is just uh, throwing that bhagwat vritti 
to those uh, bonded soul there is that uh, haladini shakti vritti uh, which bhagwan is showing uh, uh, every time uh, to every jiva inside the heart of every jiva and those uh, if you can uh, just uh, have vichar of the swarup of uh, jiva that every every jiva is a vaishnav if you can just uh, have a swarup vichar of every jiva every jeev is a vaishnav because uh, jeev always already has came from uh, krishna like uh, from kunti devi uh, kunte arjun has come from kunti devi and uh, that is why he, he is called kunte in the same manner from vishnu everyone every jeeva has come they are all vishnu all the material all the jeevas because all the the so main source of all the materialistic world is uh, vishnu then vrindavan das thakur ji is explaining in chaitanya bhagavat that if someone want to uh, someone want to hear it or someone don't want to hear it but it doesn't matter a lot because if someone is thinking or not thinking because everything has come from the lotus feet of vishnu in their swarup they are all vishnu and they are all bhakt in their swarup nitya swarup if you can just uh, uh, have a uh, careful vichar on this swarup then they are all vishnu so so if maya ka prabhav ke dwara because by the prabhav of maya they can't uh, get the actual swarup their atma swarup so that's why they are not getting or not they are unable to catch that uh, haladini vritti aprakrit haladini vritti and they can't catch that haladini vritti so because of the uh, arrangement of maya because they are in the uh, ocean of maya that's why bhagwan is uh, uh, bhagwan for ev- bhagwan everything is the same but still those who are non devotees they couldn't uh, catch that uh, haladini vritti and those who have this positive mood inside their heart those who are unmukh to bhagwan they are actually catching that and they are just uh, rapidly improving in their bhajan life and all those non devotees they do they they couldn't catch so what is the arrangement for that so that's why bhagwan is doing bhagwan bhakt bhagwan sadhu guru vaishnav they all descended on this uh, material world and they just want to protect them so i have already discussed this previously in the previous week about this point भक्त एज वेल इज इन दार्ट ऑफ भगवान एज वेल so i have already discussed it previously in the previous week about this so all those all, all those sajjan those who are all parshad of bhagwan all those bhakt all those guru vishnu who are just uh, come, descended to this material world by the desire of bhagwan they actually always seeing material all bonded soul they are seeing and they are just taking all those bonded soul and just want to take it to the bhagwadan that is the actual goal of uh, sadhu guru vaishnav so <coughs> we will be just discussing uh, upadesh amrit sir the first shloka of upadesh amrit of shila rup goswami pad there are actually for updesh amrit there in ujjavrat ya uh, ujjavrat is actually kartik vrat this is the actual the topmost happiness uh, uh, that uh, in this ujjavrat uh, at the time of ujjavrat we are just uh, discussing all like uh, the actual nijijan of shri rup manjari we are just uh, Uh, reciting Shri Rup Desh Amrit of Shri Rup Manjari. That is the topmost uh, uh, Mangal May Vastu. And uh, Prabhupada has already shown us uh, at the bank of Radha Kund. He was discussing uh, Upde Shri Rup Desh Amrit of Shri Rup Goswami Pad at the bank of Radha Kund. Shri Shri Rup Goswami Pad. Uh, Shri Shri Man Mahaprabhu at the bank of Allahabad. 
एट एट प्रयाग एट दश दश दशमेध घाट महाप्रभु टेलिंग टू शीला रूप वो स्वामी पाद गिविंग इंस्ट्रक्शन वेदर ही इज पार्षद ऑफ महाप्रभु बट स्टिल गिविंग इंस्ट्रक्शन टू शीला रूप गोस्वामी पाद जस्ट टेलिंग अस दैट एट प्रयाग एट दशमेध एट दशमेध घाट इन अलाहाबाद अबाउट श्री गौर सुंदर ऑलरेडी गिविंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन टू शिला रूप गोस्वामी पाद वॉट एवर द इंस्ट्रक्शन टेकन बाय शिल रूप गोस्वामी इन फ्रंट ऑफ श्री गौरंग महाप्रभु एट अलाहाबाद दैट इज द एक्चुअल फाइनल उपदेश अमृत वॉच वी आर गेटिंग इन टैक्ट वे दैट बाय जस्ट प्रेइंग गौरंग महाप्रभु लोटस फीट शिला रूप गोस्वामी पाद राइटिंग and whatever the instructions given by gorang mahaprabhu to shila rup goswami padi about the rasa tat and uh, a lot of things uh, mahaprabhu has instructed uh, uh, shila rup goswami pad this is the actual instructions of mahaprabhu in the form of upadesh amrit he is uh, shila rup goswami pad is exhibiting in front of us The summary of the instructions of Mahaprabhu, the Shiksha Ashtakam of Mahaprabhu, the summary of that portion, the actual summary of that uh, instructions of Gorang Mahaprabhu, Shiksha Ashtakam. So, so those who want to get the lotus feet of the uh, lotus feet of Krishna, for them, for those bhakt, for those top topmost uh, souls. Shila uh, Rupa Goswami Pad has just uh, followed Mahaprabhu and has just uh, uh, written this Shri Upadesh Amrit and what uh, Anukul and Pratikul about uh, what is the actual lakshan of Goswami, what is actually Sadhu Guru Vaishnav, characteristic of Sadhu Guru Vaishnav because all these Sadhu Guru Vaishnav are just uh, uh, giving us uh, the actual way of uh, how to do bhajan and Mahaprabhu has also discussed about this. Uh, sorry, Shila Rupa Swami Pad has already in Shri Upadesh Amrit regarding the anu, Anukulya and Pratikul about Bhakti, what to do and what to not to follow for Bhakti. And so in the first, uh, so uh, we have to just uh, do the negative, uh, why we are just discussing uh, negative uh, Vicharadhara first, why? Because... Why you are just giving so much stress on negative? Uh, you are why you are not? Uh, why all those Sadhu Guru Vaishnava are just uh, reciting the negative vastu first? Why because to uh, get the anukulya vastu, what to follow for to uh, to understand uh, what to follow? We need to know what not to follow first. Like. Uh, uh, if there is no darkness, when then we will not know the glorification of the uh, light. So that's why negative vastu, uh, to talk about negative vastu is very important. To just get rid of negative vastu is not a good thing. To know about negative vastu, then we will uh, uh, get the actual glorification of the positive thing. Uh, so it it becomes more beautiful and more uh, charming uh, when we... Uh, <coughs> that's why we are just discussing about the negative pratikul, what not to follow. Whether uh, our Gurudev, our Shila Rupa Goswami Pad, Shila Vyasdev Goswami Pad, Sukhdev Goswami, everyone is just uh, actually discussing the negative vastu first. Why they are just uh, telling the negative vastu? Because in the if they ha- if if there is consciousness inside the bonded soul, then they will become fearful. They will become careful that this we should not follow. So that's why uh, in the in the way of their bhajan, they can just uh, go. and uh, can reach that point bhakti in bhajan so those uh, bhakti pratikul vishayas then only we can just uh, uh, get those uh, bhakti anukulya vishay inside our heart then we will become more careful and attentive that okay we don't have to follow all this we have to follow this only then it is possible uh, then we can get uh, those anukulya vishay inside our heart that's why they have done, done this everywhere but in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapran and uh, everywhere uh, they have just uh, uh, pointed negative uh, vastu in front of us so that we can just be careful about uh, we should be careful about uh, this maya because in this maya 
only anukule vasta that what to follow uh, is uh, very difficult to follow uh, in this maya so that's why rup goswami pad has uh, sh- in his first shloka is explaining I already explained this point bacho vegam manasaha krodh vegam jiuha vegam udarpasta vegam etano vegano jo bish bish het adhira sarvam apimam prithimim sasishya what rupa song is told vegam manasaha krodh vegam jiuha vegam udarpasta vegam etano that in this shloka what uh, how what, the actual characteristic of uh, sadhu guru vishnu what they are actually the characteristic of uh, sadhu guru vishnu everything is written in this shloka a, a steady person dhir means a steady person those who don't have any anxiety material anxiety inside his heart and his con- and his concentration he has a steady concentration and there is no material anxiety inside his heart that is called a dhira vyakti and uh, apart from dhira vyakti all these kind of uh, shadaripu the six uh, enemies it is impossible to control that's why their dhira shab word is used here there is an indication given here that he is a dhir uh, vyakti dhir jo vikritam bajabadu dhir dhirdan cha vishnu shraddhan nitam anusrinvat athavarna yajya bhakti param bhagavati patilok vyakam hridrogam asupahi nadi achire na dhira dhira matlab dhir dhir means those who are uh, in a steady state on which uh, there is no uh, uh, prabhav of maya devi on them those who are free from maya they are actually dhir every person is not a dhir person and all the uh, persons all the individuals uh, externally if they are not uh, chonchal because uh, to uh, uh, discuss about this negative point is very important i have already seen this that if we just uh, uh, dhir means that he is constant he is steady that externally he don't have any unsteadiness externally but inside his heart is maximum uh, chanchalta and unsteadiness is there externally he don't have uh, that unsteady state and externally he is just showing we realize that he is actually very constant and tatvavid purush can see everything atatva darshi actually and tatva gyani also they can see each and everything but but a normal person for for normal person, it is not possible to realize that externally who is thinking that he has a very steady he is very steady and constant but inside his heart maximum anxiety can be found but nobody knows about this point so point is that externally if uh, one is very uh, steady and constant externally but uh, but you can uh, think that uh, externally uh, by just walking and sitting it's uh, is uh, very constant but inside his heart he is very full of material anxiety total anxiety of material uh, world is there inside his heart he is always uh, uh anxiety have anxiety about material world so in this case dhir vyakti the dhir person is that when those who have already controlled the six kind of different vegas like i'll give you a example when you will go to an iron shop where actually to a marwadi where actually some iron work is going on uh they are also actually doing work in a very steady state and they will just take all the they will be just sitting on a pillow and uh, by having placed their elbow on the pillow they will be sitting in a very steady state very and they will say that oh come maharaj come maharaj and have you gone to that uh, place in chatwala calcutta there are uh, different kind of uh, uh, externally they are doing the iron uh, business 
but they are externally very much uh, very uh, steady if someone can come they are just sitting on the pillow what you will take maharaj you will take hot or cold you just let us know uh, let you, you just drink some cold drink or some uh, tea and is and they are just speaking like a uh, very sweet words to you like uh, they will be just giving you a sweet knife cutting you with sweet knife but uh, externally they are looking like a sadhu sant only sadhu guru vaishnav only they are actually very very st- very peaceful externally they look like that but a person externally don't know that how much uh, inter- inside what what kind of material anxiety is there inside there you can't even imagine that's why mahaprabhu always used to speak this point that to have that uh, material darshan don't have this material darshan of shape and design and all so, so that he he can or in order to instruct the all the bonded souls in bhagavad mahapurana also it, it is written धनमद विद्यामद दे डू कांट इवन इमेजिन व्हाट अ वैष्णव इज दैट्स व्हाई इट इज रिटर्न इन भागवत जी महापुराण अबाउट दिस पॉइंट व्हाई दीज पीपल आर जस्ट टेकिंग द फीट ऑफ द ऑल द मटीरियलिस एंड दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू हियर अबाउट द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ महाप्रभु that the other shastra and shiksha and instructions of gorang mahapur don't want to follow like king pratap rudra was that he is such a great king but still mahaprabhu told that uh, uh, still i can't uh, uh, go to him and take and give darshan to him that's why i given a uh, mahaprabhu given this example okay he is a bhakt only but still he is in uh, the in the vesh of king externally so that's why how i can go and uh, meet him you just tell me ram mahashe you just tell me how i can go he is a king and uh, i am a sanyasi and every, all the person will laugh at me that uh, this sanyasi is going to meet one king so everyone will laugh so i can't do that like uh, raja munindra chandra is there king munindra chandra raja pratap लाइक राजा प्रताप रुद्र राजा मनिंद्र चंद्र जस्ट आज गौर किशोर दत्त बाबा जी महाराज यू कैन कम टू मुर्शीदाबाद बाबा एंड यू कैन जस्ट स्टे इन माय भजन कुटीर एंड बाबा जी महाराज इज निष्किंचन so oh, and he don't uh, disrespect anyone so baba ji maharaj that uh, king actually you do one thing munindra chandra uh, king king munindra chandra uh, he is uh, telling to king munindra chandra that if you actually in your uh, in your kingdom if in your kingdom if if in your kingdom i'll go and in that kingdom i will just uh, get uh, some reaction and i will just get greedy just by just seeing your kingdom then i will just get uh, some litigation case with you if i will go in your kingdom and i just get attracted to your kingdom then there will be some litigation and that all the web of and uh, the attraction i have to take it and i will just be getting uh, having a litigation with you regarding that so it's important it's good that if you can come to me and leave everything and by my own uh, cost i will just make one bhajan kutir for you and you can stay there and can do bhajan gor kishor das baba ji were speaking this point you see ah uh, you come here and i will uh, make one bhajan kutir for you and you can uh, you want my association no so you do one thing you can that is the very good pathway you can come to me i can make bhajan kutir for you so it means that all those pure guru vaishnav those who are of that nitya jagat just uh, forget about the modern time every uh, in the everyone in the name of yukta varagya they are just uh, taking the feet of all the materialist on their head that's it they are actually uh, uh, taking a due point of this yukta varagya word in their life they are actually not following that and they are 
in the name of yukta vairagya actually they taking the support undue advantage of uh, yukta vairagya they are actually they are actually uh, doing all the vishay bhog and all kind of enjoyment of this material world they are doing so oh, if someone will be uh, speaking to them that this is not yukta vairagya then they will not uh, realize this but actually in their uh, in their life is yukta vairagya applicable or not we have to see that who will uh, just uh, think about that so that's why only a steady person dheer person a steady and a constant person who can control all these uh, who can control all six kinds of vegas of our who can control these all six kinds of vegas that all uh, this earth then he can just uh, get control over uh, everything on this earth then by because maya devi can't uh, attract him the first uh, instruction is that vak veg vak veg mano veg vak means krodh veg jiva veg ang and udrapak means and udrapast veg all these six kind of different vegas uh, one one point i'll be discussing it for the whole month and uh, bhakti mano thakur have already uh, written in uh, his uh, language in a summary so that every normal person can understand uh, the complicacy of this uh, because they can't uh, understand this complicacy of uh, this tatva siddhant so bhakti mano thakur has just written it in the form of kirtan by only on the power of guru kripa by just taking the kripa of power of guru kripa when one or one individual can actually uh, activate his relationship with krishna can no then jeev becomes a full of blissfulness and happiness because because you just be careful about this one Uh, some person can also can give you a reverse definition of this point lekin uh, bhajan i have done already so nothing i have getting by we don't have any relationship with krishna but uh, doing bhajan it is not possible not at all possible this point is not possible so by guru guru pa only just by taking the kripa of guru only when we will understand the actual relationship with krishna avishkar means to discover why we said discover because we have we have relationship with bhagwan from infinity time and this is not a new relationship that i will make with the bhagwan it is actually discovered it is actually lost but now i have to discover it because this is not a new point not a new thing to be get discovered this is from infinity time that i have relationship with bhagwan this is just get lost that's it like uh, one uh, p- one father has relationship with his son that is permanent it it looks like it's permanent but uh, when uh, the son is lost somewhere it doesn't mean that the relationship is also lost that the relationship is also destroyed with his father the relationship will be there with his father son is lost now but uh, when the son will uh, come back then uh, automatically he has he can call his father no so relationship cannot be destroyed like i have already spoken in the uh, starting that uh, a person uh, a child who is sick mother has more attention on that sick child rather than on a healthy child he is, she always thinks that uh, when uh, he will open his eyes i will uh, just speak maiya maiya to me oh mom and then will come to me so that that also bhagwan also used to see and uh, bhagwan also used to and if bhagwan feels very unhappy uh, sad when uh, he just uh, came uh, when he come in the maya because uh, bhagwan has not thrown us in this maya and uh, bhagwan is not at fault at this that he has thrown us to maya bhagwan kisi ko ichha 
भगवान बाय हिज ओन वेल इज नॉट एक्चुअली थ्रोइंग एवरी जीवा टू द ओशन ऑफ मटीरियल मिजरी बिकॉज जीवा हैज़ ऑलरेडी टेकन इट ऑन हिज ओन बिकॉज भगवान नॉट फोर्सफुली हैज़ थ्रोन एवरी वन एवरी जीवा इन दिस ओशन ऑफ मटीरियल मिजरी दैट्स वाई भगवान इज स्पीकिंग दैट वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग दैट यू आर डूइंग अकॉर्डिंग टू योर करम फल यू आर एक्चुअली नॉट कॉलिंग मी वॉट लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैपन ऑलरेडी that uh, from the last two to two and a half years i am just uh, looking for one uh, bhakt that uh, f- from london he used to do a lot of bhajan and doing kirtan where he is i am from last two years i am finding him but i am not finding him at all uh, from the time of corona period before corona period also i was finding him when i used to go to puri and vrindavan i used to see that uh, he used to with the mridang he used to do kirtan you also know the name of that uh, devotee also he was uh, there in chandigarh also in panchkula when i was doing harikatha there he was always with me he was actually the disciple of bhakti vrat tirth ko swami maharaj from england but but i don't know why where is that uh, bhakt gone and uh, uh suddenly i got one uh, message from uh, purushottam that uh, from that person that i am just in the misery of material ocean and i am very much distressed and he, i just want to make i uh, want to meet my Ma- Ma- maharaj and actually that time uh, corona was going on and uh, bhagavad ji mahapuran was actually going on and uh, everything was going on recording and everything is going on there so i just went to shiv shiv temple and he just uh, came to shiv temple and uh, he just came with one child in his lab and he said that uh, he is my child are your child yes yes that's why i just came to you actually maharaj i am actually uh, getting into this trap now actually maharaj i just married with one girl and uh, uh, just w- with a very f- uh, foolish woman who don't have any education and externally no beautifulness nothing is there she is so much uh, so dangerous uh, woman and she is taking uh, fish meat everything and uh, you actually have uh, asked me about this then he said no 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 you just came today only then why you have came in front of me i told him so bonded soul is like this only that uh, before he will do the wrong thing and then he will come and uh, then he will ask for forgiveness i haven't seen this point that he has just married and he just gone here there and then when uh, something happened something bad happened then oh maharaj this happened so this is the character of a bonded soul so you can't uh, throw him because uh, uh, he will uh, get case and uh, will uh, destroy lakhs of rupees also so this is the case so that's why so all those material persons actually those who are in the vesh of sadhu actually in pure in the vesh of guru vaishnav and those who want to become a, a pure guru vaishnav everyone this upadesh of ramrish shri upadesh amrit of shila rup goswami path this is a topmost amrit that shila rup goswami has given us and uh, the person who is uh, whether uh, realizing it or not it's his choice but bhakti no thakur speaking one point that uh, when a relationship is not get activated with bhagwan then that di- diksha is not possible for, uh, for him if there is no diksha in his life then uh, how he can do bhajan then when in this material world when he is getting married before getting married to someone jo today's uh, married i am marriage i am not talking about uh, today's marriage because i am just talking about the standard uh, marriage before uh, getting married uh, one person just uh, uh, a, ma- a man a man doesn't get relationship with the woman before marriage but uska baad after getting married this uh, mantra of rigveda is applicable what is there inside my heart it is there inside your heart that is the rigveda mantra this is actually the spiritual unification of uh, two human souls unification of two human souls having two different x a that is called actually marriage so when that relationship is not getting discovered uh, with that up till that then uh, actually seva of the uh, seva of the husband is not uh, possible 
how to do that uh, uh, how to serve your uh, husband it is not possible without uh, discovering your relationship that i am yours this when uh, the girl when the girl will uh, uh, surrender on to lotus on to lotus feet of will uh, uh, surrender herself on to his husband it is actually tatkalik not permanent but still but when she by body speech and mind is giving on to lotus feet of uh, his husband up till that point then she can't serve her husband purely and uh, when they will get a, a male or a female child then she will speak or he will speak that this is my child this is my child then they will get that relationship knowingly or unknowingly with that uh, invisible relationship with that material child this cannot be seen what kind of relation is that which can't be seen with your naked eyes there is no uh, bondage of chain or something but still every time what kind of uh, bondage is it we can't understand i have already spoken this in bhatanda maharaj what kind of bondage is this nobody has bound us with the chain or with the with any rope but uh, at the night time again we have to just uh, round and round go and just at the lotus feet of her wife how we are going the what kind of bondage we cannot understand this bondage so knowingly unknowingly it is going to happen so like this in this material world there there is a activation of relationship of sambandh gyan this is all going on um, in rapidly like uh, uh, to a mother no one is going giving any instruction to the child that how to you have to give milk to your child and you have to serve your child no you um, it's an automatic factor for mother towards her child so whatever uh, she is not actually uh, reading any books or uh, taking any upadesh for that to serve child it is an automatic factor for a mother to serve her child by reading books it's not possible it is automatic so like it is uh, possible in uh, material world that their relationship uh, uh, this bond it becomes a bondage towards your brother sister mother father etc it's kind of bondage so in order to get to that a prakrit jagat so that you can just serve bhagwan in the transcendental world so you don't need sambandh gyan for that how it is possible this is definitely uh, uh, it's required that relationship with bhagwan that's why bhakti vinod thakur has already spoke speaking in this uh, simple words that guru kripa bole guru kripa ka bharosha by the on the power of guru kripa sambandh gyan sambandh gyan can we can get uh, onto the lotus field of bhagwan and what is the actual relationship with bhagwan what is the relationship of bhagwan and with maya and what is the relationship of maya and uh, this material world everything we will get to know and uh, because we have very less time uh, previously like two days back i think so tomorrow yesterday when we are talking about madhvacharya because when time was very less so i you want to speak a lot of thing but uh, i couldn't uh, i couldn't uh, explain all these five uh, elements uh, which are the most prominent that's why the uh, topic of madhvacharya if i have the time i will definitely discuss about that that should advaitavad of madhvacharya shuddh dvaitavad not advait it's dvait pure pure dvaitavad bhakti vinod thakur ji ne ye likha bhakti vinod thakur already written this that uh, i'll i was just speaking previously when there is no darkness you will not get the glorification of the light because darkness is re- uh, required then only you will get to know the glorification of light if there is no darkness then how you can get the glorification of light it's not possible no so so this bhagavad dham and whatever this material world all the bonded souls actually are just uh, uh, hovering around this cycle of birth and death in this maya dham birth and death then just by the kripa of guru varg and guru vaishnav only we can get uh, the relationship with the, of sambandh gyan with bhagwan that is actual bhajan if someone will question us that maharaj parikshit maharaj has what kind of diksha if you someone can question us that parikshit maharaj has which kind of diksha 
he didn't receive any diksha then Prabhupada actually told this point that Parikshit Maharaj what kind of the diksha the Parikshit Pariksh Maharaj have got actually the question, answer is that we don't have that adhikar that we can speak about this point how we can speak about this point about the diksha of Parikshit Maharaj because Parikshit Maharaj is actually is uh, he is a, uh, actually uh, Sukhdev Goswami is Gurudev of Parikshit Maharaj and he got Diksha as well. What is actually Diksha Prabhupada speaking? What do you mean by Diksha actually Prabhupada speaking? When uh, there is no activation of Sambandha Gyan, then your Diksha is correct. Then I have got uh, 40 years, I have got Diksha and 50 years I got Diksha from this Guru. You can just speak about this because you have the right to speak like this. But if you will just uh, feel this point that uh, when uh, actually you will get some Sambandh again with uh, Bhagwan, when you will get uh, relationship, actual relationship with Bhagwan, you will get inside your heart. If it is not getting uh, realized inside your heart, then uh, whatever time you have uh, got the uh, Diksha from someone, it is of no use. So Diksha actually means that that's why Diksha actually means that the Vigyan means uh, to get uh, actual Sambandha Gyan with Bhagwan and Guru Vaishnav. Sambandha Gyan means to realize this Sambandha Gyan with Bhagwan. Just be careful about this point. The how is the there is an in depth analysis of Ubdesh Amrit that Sambandhagya when you discover that when you realize this Sambandhagya with Bhagwan and Guru Vaishnav because Bhagwan with Bhagwan all the jivas are actually uh, actually have a relationship with the uh, all the jivas and Bhagwan having so just have to discover that. So Guru Vaishnav actually actually give us the realization about this relationship again with Bhagwan so that we Seva can Seva Seva can Seva have just got the relationship and the relationship of the Bhakt and Bhagwan he will discover that by the help of Guru Vaishnav and without having this relationship discovered there is no bhajan possible like uh, just giving uh, not uh, 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 self-surrendering onto the lotus feet of husband, wife cannot serve husband. So in this way, it is written that Bhakti Vinod Thakur written this sloka that when you will know, come to know about the relationship with Bhagwan, then just under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava, when you will go on doing seva, 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 then all that false ego that I am the sevak, then every all the material world will just uh, uh, give me puja and give me arti. This kind of false ego should be thrown away and it will automatically be thrown away and and then you will just cry from heart and just by crying you will just be uh, uh, trying to do this Kirtan or Bhakti no Thakur written and you will try to just uh, do this Kirtan what, what Kirtan? Kukur, there is an example of given of a dog. That because a dog is the topmost faithful uh, animal ever in this whole material world. Dog is so much faithful towards his master. Why, whether he is a dog, but still he is the most faithful uh, of all the creatures in this material world. He did a, he is just an animal. That's why Bhakti Vinod Thakur actually given this example of a dog. That... So nice Kirtan Bhakti Mathakur written. Everything you have to deliver onto lotus feet of Guru Vaishnav. Like body, speech and mind you have to give onto lotus feet of Guru Vaishnav. And you have to do Nam Sankirtan all the time. So, Samband is actually compared with Vigyan. Gyan is so Gyan, Gyan is a normal Gyan and Vigyan means uh, to get Gyan with realization. That's why Bhakti Vinod Thakur speaking. Samband Vigyan, that's why Bhakti Vinod Thakur re written this point. 
this is the actual uh, uh, identification of uh, this word because every word maximum possible meaning of every word you just uh, need to know like uh, surya i can speak uh, surya to the sun god and and mitra savita i can speak there are lot of names of uh, sun god but in uh, of all the of all the words the to- uh that was to that was to we can understand by just uh, taking the word so so that we can just actually get the characteristic of that uh, word so that's why that it is called paribhasha like water uh, water is in other words spoken like jal jeevan but uh, but when we are using any uh, word when we just get the actual characteristic of that uh, and act- actual qualities of that uh, word it is actually getting expressed in front of us that is called paribhasha so gyan shabd it is just an ordinary word but uh, by speaking sambandh vigyan it is just actually uh, uh, gyan with realization that we can realize it so bhakti mr thakur is now speaking here that sambandh vigyan kriti jeev kyunki sambandh because sambandh vigyan if we can realize then jeev actually can automatically get delivered automatically they will get delivered why because at that point when they will realize the sambandh gyan they will just get into this bhajan life and can take care uh, of themselves in their bhajan actually in true sense they can take care and they will just get uh, indulge in uh, krishna bhajan all the time i have already spoken from bhajan rahasya and from this that everything this point all these points i have already spoken so this is the actual kram of bhajan so how to do bhajan actually step by step i have already told previously also in upadesh amrit upadesh amrit is the extract of upadesh amrit is the extract of rasamrit upadeshamrito is the extract of all whole teachings of chaitanya mahaprabhu chaitanya mahaprabhu ji ne chaitanya mahaprabhu has uh, at the bank of ilahabad uh, at the shamit ghat at the bank of ganga what the instructions given to rup goswami pad that is the extract that is the extract and the summary of uh, this upadesh amrit is without upadesh upadesh amrit somebody is going to do bhajan and he has done already all kind of bhajan it is not at all possible it is impossible to do bhajan without it so so he will become that jeev only will it is clear in bangla but still it's written there all those jeevas who have taken just uh, they taken shelter of the guru vishnu and they are just getting uh, indulged in that relationship with bhagwan they can realize that relationship in that on that jeevas uh, shila rup goswami path he is actually giving the kripa or for all those devotees who have already taken the uh, actual uh, with the nishkapat bhavna they have taken shelter of the lotus feet of guru vishnu bhagwan when they have realized their actual relation with bhagwan and in true sense they just want to uh, very careful to do bhajan then for them only shila jeev ko swami pad uh, ji shila jeev ko swami pad roop ko swami pad uh, virchit ji subdesh amrit will definitely uh, get them full of uh, successfulness and full of uh, transcendental treasure will be there inside their heart koi baat nahi aisa koi baat nahi grihi grihat tagi hede dipokar jane grihi vyakti hai that all those grihi vyakti who are also those who are grihasth also those who are in the uh, those who are actually tyagi or also bhakti vat thakur already speaking that it is not going inside the ears of anyone that the words of bhakti no thakur is not going in the ears of anyone that that they are actually just celebrating abhirbhav tithi all they just get together jai bhakti no thakur like this that they are already speaking but bhakti no thakur actually spoke speaking this point he is very sad about this point that he said that 
आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्पोकन इन इंग्लिश एंड बंगला का था ऑल्सो आई हैव जस्ट सेट दिस पॉइंट दैट भक्ति मोहन ठाकुर स्पीकिंग दोज ऑल दोज त्यागी व्यक्ति आर इन रिनाउंस्ड ऑर्डर इट इज अंडरस्टूड those who have already taken the renounced order and they are on the asan of a renounced order person they are actually in the renounced order i can take it as granted that it is it is possible for them to quit all the enjoyment material enjoyment they have already uh, just left all the material enjoyments uh, it is already understood this that all those uh, the renounced order persons who have come into the renounced order life they have already just uh, quit all the materialistic things from their life and there is no material uh, activities in their life there is not a sense of enjoyment inside their heart it is not that if they have become acharya and after that they will definitely get out of the uh, material modes of nature it is not like that that after renounced order only they will do this that i have become a tyag i have become a renounced person and after that i become a brahmachari and slowly steadily i have taken that sanyas and then i become a acharya and I, after that i just want to become getting i am con- controlling this material you know that what is this this is not at all possible there is a article of bhakti mohan thakur i am just be just publishing it very soon it is written there that those persons who are in the wish of uh, renounced order person that already they have just uh, win over this uh, all kind of enjoyments related to their senses and all those material enjoyments they have already get rid of that but if it is not that then there will be destruction of whole sampraday of this there is no doubt and uh, just uh, they are coming uh, in renounced order and just uh, so all those grahast persons were living those who are uh, living in grahast and uh, if they have some sense of enjoyment inside their heart and they just want to get enjoyment of this material world if you have got some slightest bhav inside their heart then uh, they will also be just uh, finding fault with them oh why why i have just came in hari bhajan and still i am thinking of this material enjoyment and every my child mother father everything is there of krishna only and whatever is there my house and money everything why i am getting attraction for all this oh oh, oh. this should not become inside my material world oh i should not stay in this material world so just by finding faults like this inside him he should actually just uh, uh, kicking uh, the all the material enjoyments so he is actually just by i just by speaking oh i just, uh, before be, because of this i can't move just by speaking like this uh, uh, he should move but uh, bhakti mohan thakur speaking that in the renounced order life for a person in renounced order what should be how should he live that uh, all those renounced person and the grahast persons there are two kind of uh, things so all the upadesh of rup goswami pad actually the given by shila rup goswami pad in upadesh amrit whatever the upadesh given by shila rup goswami pad all the strict rules and regulations are all applicable tagi and grahast but but tagi but tagi actually those who are in renounced persons if it is not for them but it is uh, a- applicable for both of them for grahast as well as for announced person but the difference is that uh, for for those uh, the actual definition of this announced uh, person you can understand this language no parikastha means to the advice what the upde rup goswami pad has told in upadesh amrit for renounced persons it is applicable for both uh, renounced persons and the agrahast as well but there is one some difference that for renounced person it is actually an instruction uh, that they have to uh, maintain that adarsh acharan etiquette and for grahast vyakti it is okay he can follow okay but uh, not like a renounced person but still there is uh, something uh, because he can't do that much as a renounced person can do 
बट इफ अ ग्रस्त पर्सन कैन स्पीक दैट आई हैव गॉट ऑल द इंडिपेंडेंस आई कैन डू एनी थिंग एनी टाइम यू कैन गेट अप एंड यू कैन डू भजन एनी टाइम और इन ग्रस्त आश्रम महाराज एवरी थिंग इज गोइंग ऑन नो वरीज यू कैन डू भजन अकॉर्डिंगली बिकॉज इन ग्रस्त आश्रम देयर यू कैन देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ मटीरियल एंजॉयमेंट ऑल अराउंड एंड and it is there uh, in front of our eyes all the time and who and what whosoever having the control inside or uh, inside uh, to his sense organ that is the actual uh, thing because every material enjoyment uh, there is in front of us in front of our eyes and we are getting that attraction or not towards them that word i just uh, sp- speaking this point what i am speaking that what kind of enjoyment uh, is there in this material world that we cannot uh, all sadhu guru version are parinam darshi bhutanam tasam jagrati sanjami jasam jagrati sanjami hain shani shapashato muni is baat pe dhyan dena you just need to be very careful about this point isko upekha nahi karna you don't need to remove this point that i have already got that independence in my life and i can just do material enjoyment that is not the point ग्री ग्रह त्यागी वन कैटेगरी एंड ऑल दो उपदेश रूप गोस्वामी हंस के वन हंस सो ऑल फॉर ऑल दो गृहस्थी व्यक्ति इट इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर देम that upadesh in upadesh amrit whatever rup ko swami has had told us it is actually applicable for grihast bhakti as well and those who are in renounced order those also it is like a parakashtha for grihast bhakti it is overall applicable 100% and the same applicable 100% perfectly in the life of those who are entering into renounced order जो दो आर गोइंग इन टू द रनाउंसड ऑर्डर दे हैव टू डेफिनेटली हंड्रेड परसेंट दे हैव टू फॉलो दिस उपदेश अमृत देर इज नो एक्सक्यूज दैट दे विल नॉट फॉलो दे हैव टू फॉलो दैट परफेक्टली एंड फॉर धीरे भक्ति इट इज डेफिनेटली एप्लीकेबल फॉर दैम भक्ति ठाकुर ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग दिस वाक्य वेग मनोवेग सो डिफरेंट डिफरेंटली वन बाय वन आई विल बी जस्ट डिस्कसिंग इट इफ आई विल बी स्टेइंग अलाइव देन डेफिनेटली आई विल वॉट इज वॉट यू मीन बाय वाक्य वेग वॉट इज द डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ वाक्य वेग एंड एंड हाउ टू गेट वॉट हाउ दैट वी शुड वी कीप साइलेंस एंड दिस स्लोली स्टेडली इफ इट इज अ विल ऑफ कृष्ण डेफिनेटली आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इट सो ऑल दिस वाक्य वेग एंड मनो वेग एंड क्रोध वेग एंड जीव वेग एंड उदर उपस्थ वेग ऑल आर एक्चुअली वेरी डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड डेंजरस फॉर अस इट इज सो डेंजरस दैट नरोत्तम ठाकुर ऑलरेडी स्पीकिंग इन कीर्तन दैट भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर ऑल्सो हैज रिटर्न कीर्तन that they are just crying and doing kirtan oh narottam das thakur ji doing kirtan just crying kirtan and bhakti nu thakur also crying and doing kirtan of oh. you can't even imagine kitna kirtan kiya so much kirtan they have done gur ho vishnu bhagwan kori ei nivedan mavaro ya dham dura char सो नाइस कीर्तन ऑफ भक्ति ठाकुर जस्ट क्राइंग एंड डूंग कीर्तन 
सो वाक्य वेग मनोवेग वाई इट्स कॉल्ड वेग वाई द हेयर वाई वॉट डू मीन बाई वेग महाराज वॉट डू मीन बाई वेग हेयर वेग इज इसको मान कैंड ऑफ आर्च दैट इज अचुरल नेचुरल दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड वेग वेग मीन्स फोर्स दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉन्ड ऑफ वाक्य वेग बट हरी कथा इज नॉट वाक्य वेग Just be careful about this point. Whatever, if we if we can do whole day Hari Kirtan like a mad, whole day if I can do Hari Katha and Hari Kirtan, if we do, that is not called Vakya Vek. That is very good for me because if I not speak Hari Katha, then uh, everything because it will not be good for me. so every time we have to do engage in hari katha and hari kirtan all the time that's why in this kartik vrat so all the pure sadhu guru vaishnav their whole life is kartik vrat they have their whole life as kartik vrat you have some damodar vrat and this then this that but for their for sadhu guru vaishnav it is whole life is uh, uh, whole year their sad uh, kartik vrat is going on so this actually in this kartik vrata we will uh, like under the guidance of keshav goswami maharaj has given a very nice explanation about this we don't have this much time to explain this but prabhupad has also have explained this point really nicely that uh, the total success of kartik mass we can get if you can put yourself into hari katha kirtan absorbing mood in this there is for this chaturmasya i am not i am just you are just talking about kartik vrat i am just talking about the chaturmasya uh, there is a uh, uh, all the big big sadhus and uh, like bhakti mohan thakur prabhupad keshav goswami maharaj all actually they are what is the success of this uh, four months this chaturmasya what is, if only one chaturmasya one person one individual can uh, do it properly uh, like do it properly then uh, he will get successful in his bhajan so those who are always thinking that uh, always get into absorbing mood of hari katha kirtan like hanarad ji like nar sar sadan se narad ji in his uh, previous life i have given an example that he, he just came with the association of the sadhus and they there is a lot of mountains and rivers and and everything and uh, uh, they have just uh, they will not go in the chaturmasya they will just stay there like mahaprabhu also haven't uh, went from uh, he just went to in shri rangam he all stayed there for four months only he didn't went anywhere for those four months so that all the sadhus were there in the for four one four months that guru were told that uh, if we can already every time we can just do hari katha kirtan with absorbing mood we are doing that all the time in these four months then that will be the best thing ever hari katha bolne ka matlab vakya to speak hari katha means that uh, it is not vakya veg at all vakya veg means that that what is making enjoyment to your sense enjoyment that you are just getting material sensual enjoyments that is called vakya veg that to forcefully stop those and mano veg means ha mano veg matlab kya hai mano veg what do you mean over that the force of man the pressure of man our heart chit sometimes our material uh, uh, mind will take us to bombay and sometime it will take us to panchkula and sometime it will go to some other place like dogs and cats just taking just go run 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 like that the material mind and chit is taking us Ma- material mind should be just going on to lotus feet of gurudev if you will not take then all bhajan will go so so dhyan dharana pratyahar lot of things are there which i have to discuss but uh, to but to take the our chit material mind uh, our mind going towards material things man material mi- mind will definitely go towards material things like hans rupi bhagwan have already told in uh, english hari katha that when chaturshan were asking question to brahma ji that uh, chaturshan were asking question to brahma ji some all these chaturshans are asking question to his father brahma 
that uh, i just want to ask one question that do when our our uh, mind is in uh, material uh, our mind is material or uh, our material our mind is uh, there in uh, material or the material is there in our mind so what is the relation between these two uh, i i just want to understand that father so we can't understand this point when our 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 uh, situation is actually contaminated so our uh, mind is also contaminated with matter so when the, uh, it is uh, more frequently we can see with water and water water and water can mix with together if we will uh, try, try to mix water with oil is it possible no it is not at, not at all possible because water cannot mix with oil if with water plus water you can mix it and with water plus oil it is not possible to mix with milk plus milk if you add it is uh, easy to mix but if some foreign element you are just mixing in that then it is not possible to get mixed so our mind and our chit is all matter because already in Gita Bhagavan has uh, announced this All these are actually matter. All these are matters. So actually, the prakriti we are actually it is all the part and parcel of this material nature, prakriti. Whatever, for false ego, material mind, everything is matter. Everything is matter. So if uh, if matter is mixing with matter, then what is the point in that? No worries. If so our mind, material mind is matter and uh, the out external things are also matter, so it can come in fine form or in or coarse form. It can come in coarse form or it can come in fine form as well. That matter can go. So that's why Prabhupada told that uh, I haven't get married. I am also Brahmachari. Someone has uh, asked question in front of uh, Prabhupada that uh, I am also Brahmachari because I haven't married to anyone. Then Prabhupada told that if you haven't married to anyone, it is the uh, actual characteristic of Brahmachari, then all the birds and uh, dogs, which are uh, all beasts, which are living in the zoo, they are uh, topmost Brahmachari. If we, you are not marrying to anyone, that is a symptom of a Brahmachari, then all those uh, bears and leopards are all Brahmachari. Prabhupada giving this answer means that that matter then how to stop that externally you can stop it I will not go to any girl and I will not I am not taking that much food uh, every varage you have done but uh, inside only you are just uh, uh, enjoying that mentally you are enjoying association you are doing mental association with matter only so just enjoying that so all this there is actually contamination is there definitely you cannot stop that you cannot if you want to check matter just to show to the whole world that you see i have i am such a big mahatma mahajan i am not taking too much food i am not i am just taking sleep for very less time and i am not going to any woman or not doing any woman association but all of this Actually, this is not the scale or the yardstick to measure that how much you have eaten and how much you have sleep and how much you have seen. It is not the it is not the standard. It is not the scale to measure. This is not the yardstick that you on the basis of which you can. This is not the thermometer on the scale on which you can measure that he is a very big sadhu. It's not there. And if it is there, then Madhva Charaji has already in 32, 32 pots, 32 pots of water. He has drank, he has drank 32 pots of milk and has taken 400 bananas immediately. And if you can say Madhva Charaji is not a bhakt, then what you can speak? He is actually Hanuman, he is actually Vayu Avatar. He is actually Bhimsen, he is Vayu Avatar, so he can take that. 
बट इन युक्त वैराग्य आई नो दैट दैट एवरी वन इज मिस यूजिंग युक्त वैराग्य एंड दे आर जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग इट इन डिफरेंट वे बट आई एम एक्चुअली गिविंग विद साइंटिफिक एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ युक्त वैराग्य इन विच Uh, uh, in front of in you can t- uh, take you to where again front and actually you will whatever you are uh, getting it's it's wrong it's right you are getting it uh, good or it's not bad it's it's your like and dislike actually there is no question in your in you to where again about like and dislike whether bhagwan is getting satisfied with this or not that is called actually you whether you are liking or disliking it should be thrown off this concept this question should not come at all uh it should be like if you are just taking 400 banamas and if bhagwan is satisfied this then okay you can do that seva but the satisfaction of krishna should be there but you don't have that much capability to do yukt vairagya means that you can satisfy whatever the uh, uh, kriya karam or whatever the steps you are taking to satisfy krishna that is called yukt vairagya and if we are just taking the undue advantage of uh, yukta varaga uh, all because all are blind and they just want to take the mis- they want to misuse yukta varaga so they can do it but those who have the shastra, shastra eyes those who have that internal aprakrit darshan if they have that third of eye open then uh, they, those people cannot be uh, made foolish so that's why hari katha kirtan it is not coming in vakya vega so separately vagno me krodh veg jiva veg all have de- separately i will definitely uh, discuss about that now you just understand that man veg where our material mind and chit is going different different ways so externally external matter actually my mind mind is just going into that my mind is just uh, taking that enjoyment in external matter but uh, inside my heart i am just getting that anand in that matter only i am just enjoying that matter that i want to enjoy that gita mein bhagwan in the gita bhagwan also speaking this baharindiya sanjammu jo manasaste smarana jo bahar ka that those who are who are not able to do just making drama of making their material sense or an externally they have just controlled it they are just making a drama of that they are actually a big thief they are actually big thief because they are making a drama of uh, they, they have just uh, controlled their material sense or it is better it is better uh, grasthi people are more better than them that they have actually have this mood that uh, hamara our life is not going like without this actually they are not kapat so this man veg is very dangerous so it is already slo- lot of shlokas in gita it is already written about this man veg and uh, bhagwan or so t- talking to arjun about this and uh, bhagwan taking that uh, krishna uh, arjun speaking to uh, krishna speaking to uh, arjun speaking to krishna that okay you are just telling me that this mind should be get controlled but it is very it is impossible to control this mind which is flying everywhere and he is you are giving me this obdesh but it is impossible to control your material mind how it is possible ho oh, very difficult then bhagwan said that okay your uh, what you are saying is actually right but it is impossible i know but still it's possible arjun ne bhagwan ko bataya aap man ko that you are actually speaking that whatever bhajan you are doing like yog gyan whatever karm whatever whichever line you are just taking your material sense organ should get controlled mera kehne ka matlab koi bhi line my thing is whatever line you are taking authentic line in that line the biggest step is that the biggest step in that line is that you through controlling of mind controlling of your mind your when your mati- mind is just controlled then every all other material sense organ will get controlled and everything will come in your way mano sarva eva mano nigraha lakshananta sarva eva mano nigraha lakshananta all will indicate you that first of all try to get control of your over your mind dekho you see if i have the time i will definitely discuss about this like amrish maharaj amrish maharaj who was who is doing all the nine prim principle fold of bhakti in bhagavatam it is written about him kitna sundar very nicely but there also it is written 
in the starting what uh, it's written it's not uh, uh, written there that you have to control your tongue you have to uh, control your ears you have to control your eyes in the starting only of the shloka it is written that your mind is your topmost enemy that's why ambrish maharaj like staunch devotee um like ambrish maharaj already what they have said he is a king but he is internally he is a big sadhu definitely i will discuss uh, tomorrow about this that like how ambrish maharaj has so fine brain so fine intellect towards bhakti he should be having that because whosoever uh, whosoever pran and whosoever is everything is like guru vishnu for them then they should they will not be having that uh, they will be having that tatva siddhant which are inside their heart so that's why they have that fine intelligence so ambish maharaj is so clever so smart that this material mind is actually you have to just uh, divert it towards krishna if uh, our mind is just uh, controlled then everything will get controlled automatically in bangala it is speaking that we, you uh, when you will be plucking your ears automatically your head will come in front so you don't have to just pluck your uh, head you just have to pluck your uh, ears automatically head will come so prabhakshit maharaj very smartly and cleverly speaking that all those uh, do, sadhus who are doing hari bhajan they are very very smart and very clever that after that uh, it is uh, speaking that mandir marjana dishu shutim chakar uchit sat kathu gai ye sab dheere dheere slowly and steadily it will come but finally everything you will get because when your mind is in control so you have to divert it towards uh, krishna because if your mind is going to either and either way if your mind and your chit is actually going here and there and if you want to get you are uh, not uh, getting control over your chit and your material mind and your mind then cooperation of mind all your seva false seva false If your mind is not going to cooperate with you, then it is not possible for you to do any bhajan, whatever jab, dhyan, whatever harikata you have heard, everything will go into water. It will all go into the garbage. Nothing will happen. Now what I can do, time is very limited. So in this I have to just, uh, in at uh, 2 o'clock I have to start on new katha. So this I have to, uh, when I will do the Sankhya Naam, we need, I need some time, no? So I don't have the time. But still I have to take out the time out of that. So where I will go? So tomorrow I will definitely discuss this point. I just uh, uh, bless me and uh, forgive me. I will just to be just to do the katha up till now here.